Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Parent XP where we help you level up your parenting. Today we're talking about ChatGPT and the different ways you can use it as a parent. So I was trying to figure out what to talk about in this and what better resource to use than ChatGPT. Let's see what it says. As a parent, you can use ChatGPT in various ways to support your parenting journey. Here are some ways you can utilize ChatGPT. So we can get parenting advice, we can do problem solving, resource gathering, emotional support, and brainstorming ideas. That's pretty cool. So let's go over the first one here. Parenting advice. ChatGPT can provide insight and suggestions on various parenting topics. You can ask questions about child development, discipline strategies, managing behaviors, fostering healthy habits, dealing with specific challenges, and more. ChatGPT can offer different perspectives and ideas that may help you make informed decisions. Well, that's pretty cool. Basically, you can use ChatGPT to get advice. You know, if you got a question, you hop on there and ask it. Let's go over an example here. What's a wonderful example? Wetting the bed. Look at this. So we're using this resource here, and it gave us eight different things about wetting the bed. Let's review them. Maintain a positive attitude. Establish a consistent routine. Limit evening fluid intake. Encourage regular bathroom breaks. Protect the bed. Encourage self-care. Reward systems. And consult a healthcare professional. These are all amazing ideas. Something that our child struggles with is wetting the bed. All right, so I asked ChatGPT, what are some common problems parents face? Here's what it gave me. Sleep deprivation, discipline, discipline and behavior management, balance work and family life, parenting styles and differences, sibling rivalry and conflicts, managing technology and screen time, school-related issues, emotional well-being and mental health, navigating transitions and milestones, balancing personal needs and identity. And I think really the biggest one out of all of those is number 10. How do you retain that identity as a parent? That's a really tough question for a lot of people, especially if you have kids at a young age. I had my first kid when I was 23 and I felt I didn't even know who I was. So this is a big problem for me. In a lot of the groups I'm in, we're talking about this stuff. A lot of people lose their identity when they become a parent because now your entire life is evolving around this one topic, kids. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to help you reclaim your identity while being a great parent. Let's ask ChatGPT what to do about that. How can a parent reclaim their identity? Here are some suggestions. Self-reflection. Prioritize self-care. Establish boundaries. Seek support. Pursue interests and passions. Continue learning and personal growth. Connect with others. Embrace flexibility and adaptability. So as you can see, you can use ChatGPT to reform your entire identity. Look at all these resources they have, and you ask as many questions as you want, and it'll keep going. That's the crazy part, is you can just keep getting resource after resource from ChatGPT. You do need to do your research, because it's not all going to be accurate, but ChatGPT can be used as a tool to really help guide you in the right direction. So let's say you're starting with all these problems, and you don't know where to go. Use ChatGPT to figure that out. 